Mark Gilman, along with Western Oregon head football coach Aaron Ferguson, and coach that long drive up to Ellensburg was uh, even longer coming back. A ball game that, uh, to be honest, uh, there were a lot of good things that happened, but uh, also some key miscues and uh, mm -hmm. the result of loss to Central Washington. Yeah, first of all, Central Washington's a good team. We knew that coming in. Um, it would be a, a battle up front. Um, and then we felt, thought our D-line did a really good job um, against a very good back. Um, but we let him go a little bit a couple times, and then we kind of shot ourselves in the foot. Um, they changed the snap count on us a little bit, and that hurt us. Um, we had a pump block, and we, we just didn't get in front and ran into him. It was a clear block, um, so that swung things the wrong way a little bit. Um, and then our offense even though we weren't productive like we'd like. Um, there's no question about that. But they had chances. I mean, they had scoring opportunities, but we got to take care of the football. We got to throw the ball accurately, and we got to run good routes. Um, so those things um, resulted in a day on stat-wise where you looked at your offense as not nearly as productive as it needed to be. There's no question about that. But honestly, we had opportunities to be successful against a very good team. And within our conference, every game is going to be close. Um, we anticipate that. And we just have to keep practicing and getting better and sharpen things up because we're not playing the football that we expect to play and that we're going to play. Despite the loss, you know, obviously disappointment involved there. This season is far from over, and that's uh, one good way to look at it as Dixie State comes in. And this is also a pretty good team that got uh, throttled a little bit going up to uh, one double A against Idaho State this last yeah. week. And, and first of all, going into the season, having Eastern Washington, we knew they were a very good team. And then on the road again against Central Washington, we knew that would test our kids uh, early. But it's really preparing them for the season to get better. Um, things didn't go the way we'd like in Central Washington, but we're playing a very good Dixie State team at our place that's much improved in the past. And honestly, we need a win, and we need to play our best football. Your, your concerns about Dixie coming in here, you know, they, yeah. they've thrown the ball in, a lot yeah. in the past and it uh, doesn't look like that's changed much. Um, they have a, two good quarterbacks, um, one experienced Division One transfer that was there last year and then a sophomore that comes in that really does some good things also with his arm and his feet. But the, the biggest thing is the receivers are much more polished and they have an All-American, um, Joe Duncan, yeah. that's a, a big target, um, quick feet, and very productive and really a much better pass receiver than uh, people give him credit for. He's always very, very productive and, and physical. He's big to get around. Um, so we know that he's going to be productive. We've got to limit his catches. And also the other receiver's timing is uh, best. We've seen it at this stage. So um, definitely it's a game where our DBs have to be very productive and our D-line's got to get pressure on the quarterback. Um, the Idaho State game, you know, we see the quarterback running around a little bit. At times you have significant pressure. Um, they're able to stop him, but also we've seen him make a lot of plays and we know they're very capable against a good quality opponent. And for you guys this week, you know, after the tough loss here, it's just getting that confidence, that timing back, and being at home, that, that doesn't hurt at all. Well, you know, to get our kids to settle down, uh, sometimes in areas we're trying too much. Uh, sometimes we're not sharp enough, we're not concentrated enough, we're not executing. So this week has really been back to basics, back to making sure we simplify things in certain areas um, so that we are more productive. And then the, we also get our players uh, playing to the capability we expect and they expect. And uh, we know that that's coming. We just hope we take a big step forward with Dixie. We're going to need it against a very good team. All right. Head Coach Aaron Ferguson, as always, thanks for your time, sir. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it.